Well guys, welcome to another update video from uh, from Overdrive. Uh, not really so much a lockdown um, update for me now because I have actually been at work uh, for the past 10 days or so now, so just a sort of a partial lockdown for me. Uh, but yeah, just a couple of things I wanted to update you on, um, on how, how things are going at the moment. I know one of the last, one of the other videos I did recently was show you some footage from the allotment that I've got and uh, making some really good progress on there. That's come along really, really well. Got plenty of things in the ground now and uh, growing and starting to see some results of that. So I don't know if any of you guys are interested in that type of thing or maybe you've got one yourself. Um, if you are, let me know, drop us a line and we'll um, give you some more details on the, on how that's going. Like I said, some nice progress being made there as well. But like I said, I've been at work for the past 10 days or so now and uh, that's taken a lot of my time again, of course, back to a normal kind of routine. Um, so yes, not so much of a lockdown for me anymore, like I say, but uh, just trying to keep safe uh, all the same, of course, as we've got to do in this situation. So yeah, with uh, more on a more car-related uh, theme, I suppose, as is appropriate, um, an update really to keep you uh, keep up to date with. Uh, I know again I mentioned in the last episode or last video, shall I say, uh, that we were looking at getting a replacement for um, one of the courses that I have. Obviously, I had two, um, a fifty-six plate course of C and a ten plate course of D. We didn't know which one was going to go to make way for a new uh, sort of big car needed, obviously, for an expanding family. Um, and in the end we decided it was the newer template one that was going to go. Spent a fair bit of money on the older course of C um, this year on doing a few things to that, uh, which you will see in an upcoming uh, episode. That was filmed before the um, coronavirus uh, lockdown here in the UK. And uh, so, yes, footage sort of still to come from that. Uh, but a fair, a fair bit of money has been spent on the older one, so we decided to keep that, and that's going to be my sort of daily uh, commuting car, I suppose you could say, which makes sense. It's a nice, uh, ideal car, cheap to run and everything. Um, yes, the course of D made way for replacement. I know um, we sort of uh, knocked a few ideas around on what's, what car that was going to be. Um, in the end, it was as... <laughs> As uh, Malcolm and Martin predicted, I did go for the Astro Sport Tour. Um, very nice one indeed in red. And it, with the 1.6 litre petrol turbo, uh, around 200 horsepower. So it's quite a rare model actually, uh, particularly in a state form. Um, in fact, when I bought that, that was the only one I could find for sale. Um, uh, in the country, well there probably were more, but it's one I could find uh, with that engine in an estate in that colour. So it was quite it's quite a rare car and very nice. Very, very pleased with it so far. I've only had it about three days, so uh, it's early days, but we'll see how we go. Uh, but really, really enjoying driving that. It's got a lot more technology than what <laughs> than what I'm used to at the moment. Um, Yes, uh, I'm not, it's the first car I've ever had with satellite navigation, believe it or not, and that, all that type of stuff, and uh, Wi-Fi, and this, that, and this. It's uh, blown my mind a bit, but we're getting used to it. Um, I'm really, really enjoying the uh, car, so I hope it will, uh, will serve as well. Not planning on getting rid of that anytime soon, I can assure you. Uh, so I know it's about two years too late, or two, yeah, about two years later than planned, but we finally did get into the next generation Astra, uh, and uh, we'll keep you updated, and there will be a full feature on that. Um, I would say, hopefully that's going to be looking around about episode 25, so the next full episode that we do, when all this um, virus is calmed down a little bit and we're going back to, uh, well, as much of normality as we can and back to normal filming that will be a, have a, a full feature doing on that so you guys see what's what uh, and that's the main that's the main update and uh, I hope you look forward to that feature because uh, I'm always lot of uh, looking forward to uh, giving it a go and seeing what the well how Vauxhall have moved the game on with the newer model and in terms of how the um, the course of C is doing the SXI plus 
so far really really well um, like I said we've spent a few uh, f- few quid on that which sure you'll be seeing in the next uh, full episode uh, which footage that um, hasn't been shown yet uh, but no it's really doing really well it is performing sort of daily duties uh, to work and back really pleased with it it's driving very nicely um, in fact I think it's probably more fun to drive than the, the, the course of D actually um, probably I'm guessing there's a lighter weight but yeah nice car to drive um, I'm hoping and I'm not told Malcolm on this uh, but no, I'm hoping uh, to do a similar thing to what we did on the Chevrolet Lasetti uh, last year and do a kind of six month update um, video um, slash feature on how the car's doing um, any expenses anything that was spent on it uh, and like I said we have spent a bit on it but it's not so much stuff that desperately need to do and it's more kind of preventative maintenance if you know what I mean but that was the, we'll give the details of that um, in the update and that is of course dependent on when we are going to be filming um, because at the moment things are a bit up in the air as everybody is aware of um, we just don't know when that is going to be that we're going to be back to sort of a normal filming schedule um, I mean me, Martin and Malcolm are chomping at the bit to get out there and uh, crack on but at the moment it's just not going to happen um, just yet hoping it's we're going to be sort of back to doing that by the time it's due it's six month uh, update it might just be a six month but little bit late update just depends on um, how things go I suppose uh, but I hope more than anything obviously you're all keeping safe please try and be careful um, you know the virus is still out there and try and keep yourself and your family safe and just always have it in the back of your mind uh, what's going on uh, but not some negative we don't want this channel to be negative we'll try and look uh, for positivity and as of course we will try and keep it about the cars uh, but uh, yes one thing I must mention as well uh, Malcolm's done some updates on the website uh, so please check that out it's really 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 important to uh, have a look at that because it does help um, traffic for the channel um, and please check that out at uh, overdrive-online.co.uk he's got some uh, really good features on there actually some really interesting um, latest up-to-date news from the motor industry because I've actually had a quick look today and a quick update myself and see see how he's doing it and he's um, changing a few of the graphics around that kind of thing so it's looking really sharp so please 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 have a look on that it does help the website it does help the channel um, but yes and of course please subscribe um, again always help the channel um, we've had some really really good comments recently I've had a really few th- through a few of them myself and I know the other guys have as well and it's great to see um, people really sort of liking what we're doing it, it, it does it is a good feeling and um, it's really 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 appreciated I notice we have got some sort of uh, regular uh, viewers and, and uh, commentators on the videos um, and you know who you are thank you very much for that it is appreciated and uh, yeah Keep watching, keep subscribing, and um, I know Martin and Malcolm are going to keep chucking out these update videos for you as well. Um, so please keep an eye on them. Martin's got some really interesting ones at the moment with his um, MPG uh, videos. Uh, I think he's still a bit upset that I beat him in the MPG challenge in episode 24, but we'll, we'll gloss over that. Um, but anyway, you know. Please watch him, Uh, please keep subscribing, we really appreciate it, and for me, 